Danger Dolan. From shoving all manner of disgusting things into your vagina to wearing condoms made out of shell, we look at 15 weirdest forms of birth control found in history. Number 15. When life gives you lemons, then life is certainly is trying to tell you not to have children anytime, apparently. Dating back to at least the 1700s, it's widely believed that the citric acid in lemons would kill any sperm that found their way near it. Women would often insert a round slice of lemon into themselves as a diaphragm. This was also the method said to have been used by Lothario Casanova, meaning it obviously wasn't a mood killer to turn to your lover and say, Do you mind shoving this fruit inside you? Number 14. Olive oil. Forget cooking and using it on the frying pan. This is oil that is being used on a different type of eggs. Going back to ancient Greece, the oil would be mixed with cedar oil and then used as lube during the love fest. Observing that the oil slowed down sperm, allowing the women a better chance of effectively using a douche. While still used today as a natural lubricant in sex, just don't try to double up with a condom because the oil would cause it to break open. You don't want to have a kid who's the product of accidental condom olive oil break, do you? Number 13. Moonlight. Wait, that should actually be stay out of the moonlight because it's moonlight that impregnates you. <gasps> really? No. According to the native residents of Greenland, the moon is what gets women pregnant, so you need to sleep on your stomach and or spit on your belly to create a barrier for the moon's baby-making rays. Oh man, we need to educate the kids about this. It has to be why there are so many teenage pregnancies. Too many of those kids sleeping in the moonlight without spitting on their stomachs. That must be the only logical reason. That, or they just stick their wing wang into the sponge hole without using a trash bag. Number 12. Vinegar soaked sea sponge. Good old vinegar, always there for us from going great with fish and chips to help and teach kids about volcano eruptions and then something else involving kids and eruptions. Much like lemons, it's been believed historically that vinegar is a spermicide and the Hebrew Talmud details that if a woman is too young to survive having a child, you should go fish out a bit of sea sponge and add vinegar. Of course, you should probably do more research on how effective this would be before running out to the beach to get some sea sponge for your junk. Number 11. Wolf urine. Going back to the times and medical history between prayer being the cure for everything and leeches being the cure for everything, wolf urine was the cure for not wanting a kid. The procedure involved the woman going outside straight after sex, finding where a female wolf had peed, and then peeing over that spot while possibly saying an incantation. As would guess, this form of birth control was super effective, and is probably still used today by some crazy ass wolf people. At least it didn't call for the wolf urine to go inside anyone's privates, although I'm sure they tried. Number 10. Honey soaked tampons. Well, more accurately, honey, acacia, cassia, I have no idea how to say that, and date soaked bits of wool. But who cares about accuracy, am I right? Back in 1550 BC, we had the first recorded use of Egyptian ladies soaking seed wool with the mixture and putting it where all tampons go. But that must just be some crazy useless mixture, right? Well, turns out that word I can't say, acacia, can ferment in lactic acid, which is a modern spermicide, meaning that once again those damn ancient Egyptians have our modern science. I'm not saying it's aliens, but... Number 9. Tortoise shell condoms. Finally one for the men to take care of. Haven't got any honey around, so I best get out my tortoise shell. While most of the world was using animal intestines for dick wrappers, the Japanese thought, nah, not weird enough, and someone promptly made a penis sheath made of hard shell, or even sometimes animal horn. Talk about horny. Ah! Well, most likely not very comfortable for women, and probably definitely not for the man 
they would have been 100% effective. Well, Japan, no one can accuse you of not being efficient. Number eight, sneeze and squat. Well, if you don't like bodily fluids getting everywhere, we suggest that you avoid this very messy alternative to the pill. Going back to ancient Greece, it was said that right after sex, a woman should go and do a bunch of squats while trying to time them with sneezing, leading to snot and semen now being the primary decoration of your living room carpet. Needless to say, this is a pretty useless practice, but at least you would end up with some killer glutes after all those post-sex squats. Too bad the eventual pregnancy would ruin them. Easy come, easy go. Number seven, crocodile shit. And back to ancient Egypt, which seems to be the home of let's stick random things inside women until they stop having babies. This time we have some lovely crocodile excrement that would be pasted around and inside the birth canal to create a barrier that we assume the sperm would just be too disgusted to swim through. Bingo! No more kids. Of course, this was only used until aliens came to visit the Egypt and gave them the magic honey tampon technology. It's all true. I saw it on a history channel. Number six. Beaver testicles. <laughs> yes, using Genital innuendo named animals genitals are a surefire way to never have children ever. That's what 16th century Canadians thought when they casually decided that drying up beaver testes, grinding them into a powder, and mixing them with alcohol was the best idea they could come up with. See, the beaver sperm cancels out your sperm. But hey, it can't be too hard on this one. At least you could blame being black out drunk from contraception why he didn't last long enough in bed. Number five, weasel testicles. Wow, history has way too many instances of thinking that more testicles are the answer to stopping sperm from making it to the egg. But at least this method doesn't involve drinking the testicles. Instead you take two testes from weasels, wrap them up in cloth, tie them to the thighs of women, and presto, instant sperm blocking force field? The method was so popular in the Dark Ages that merchants would sell weasel testy ambulance so that you didn't need to go and rip an animal's balls off every time you wanted some nookie. Number 4. Mercury. Oh, liquid metals. Everyone's favourite terminator building material that will give you brain damage. Also, it can make you sterile. Win-win. Used in China at one point, women would take swigs of the metal to stop any unwanted fetuses taking residence in the womb. However, it's pretty safe to say that ingesting the poisonous metal didn't do wonders for your health. Along with sterility and brain damage, you would experience kidney failure along with any children you end up having look like Robert Patrick. Number 3. Blacksmith water. Speaking of drinking metallic liquids, apparently it's widely known that metal is the natural thing to kill off fetuses. And no one told me. First recorded as being used again in ancient Greece, this would involve women drinking the dirty water that had been used to cool off freshly made swords. But nobody knows why people decided that chugging the equivalent of toxic waste was a great idea. Amazingly, this belief held until World War I, where women reportedly would volunteer in factories to get access to those sweet, sweet precious toxic metal waters. Mmm, mmm. Number two. So we don't need to go back far in the past to find the stupidest things people have been sticking into other people's genitals to stop children from happening. Lysol. This remedy from the 1900s was actually advocated by the producers of the antibacterial product themselves as an effective douche. At the time, birth control was illegal in the United States, so having some Lysol meant that not only was your house clean, but also child free. Of course, sticking cleaning chemicals in your vajigi is not a good idea, and there were only 193 cases of Lysol poisoning that included chemical burns to the vagina, along with five people dying from it. At least we don't live in an age where not wanting to have a kid has a good chance of killing you. Number one. Coca-Cola. Soda kills teeth, so it must do the same for potential babies in your uterus, right? Is there anything Coca-Cola can't do? Well, the last in our list of putting terrible things in your vagina comes the world's most famous soda that became a douching method in the 1950s, with women shaking up bottles of soda and letting them erupt into their birth canals. 
thinking that the sugar would kill any sperm making their way into the womb, this was of course not going to stop any child from being born. But they probably grew up to have very bad teeth. That's it for this countdown. And have a good one!